Hello, we are back, and today we are making a video just about how to have what you need to have a great YouTube channel, gaming YouTube channel, what items you will need, and also editing software and how to set all those things up and the downloads and how to download them and where to download them and all such. So, let's go. The items you'll need a Dell HD 60 capture card. Yeti microphone. A laptop or PC, a TV, and your console. Now, what you gotta do is you will normally have an HDMI. Where is the thing? Okay. Have an HDMI. Into your back of your Xbox. Now, what you want to do is unplug that HDMI that goes to your TV from your uh, to your Xbox to your TV, and plug it right here into this side side of your Elgato. Right there, the one that's that is out. Is the output out with no other holes or anything, and it goes from from the Elgato to your TV, so it's not plugged in your Xbox anymore. Now take the one provided and put it on the inside, on the other side, with the other cords, the other holes, and plug that into back into your Xbox and into the other side of the Elgato. Now take the USB they give you and plug it into the small hole next to the in, and plug that into there and into your laptop. Just like that, just like into this your laptop, right there. Now, what you want to do is go. After you connected all that, you can turn turn your console on that you plugged it into. Well, you don't need to, but go to your web browser. Type in Elgato. Got, oh, let's see, look. Elgato.com. Slash gaming slash download. See, right in that corner there. Slash Elgato. And then what will pop up is this screen right here. With a bunch of different downloads. For Windows. First, and then you can scroll down, and there'll be Mac downloads. Okay, and have, if you have a Windows 8 or higher, get the 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 one that's called Download Game Capture 3.5 Beta. Get that one if you have Windows 8 or higher. Don't get the other one if you have Windows 8 or higher. If you have lower than Windows 8. Get the first one, download Game Capture 3.2. Now, if you have a Mac computer, download the the version 2.1 with stream command. HT6ES or it will download any of the ones. The, the, the one that best suits your computer of how good it is. The newer or later. Okay, and then once you download that, like just click on it. It'll ask for some stuff. Download that in. And once you download it and install it, well, don't inst install it to the folder to change the folder that it gets installed to. to make a new folder and call it Elgato and have it get saved to that. All of it. And then. So you can go down to your, if you have Windows, down to the your section where all your folders and stuff are lettered. And it will be right down in E. And you can click on your Elgato folder. And it will be right there. Drag it to right here in your thing. Which, mine's already there. Now once you do that, drag it. 
from there onto your screen for your regular stuff. Once you do that, it'll be on your screen and then you can just click it whenever you want on your full screen. Which open it up. Okay, this is what will pop up. Well, yours might be lighter. Okay, mine's kind of glitching out. Wait one second. I need to go. Okay, there. And what you want to do is see you have all this stuff on the side, all this, and, no, oh. okay, on the side you'll see you have your microphone, as... oh my god, stop, as your computer microphone, which is not good at all, that's terrible, what you want to do, is shrink this down some and once you do that shrink it down is you want to plug set up your yeti thing well i'm going to show you how though what you want to do is like tighten the bolts till the like so it's facing you like this it's a mute button towards you the usb pro provided you see there's a USB hole in the bottom of it. Plug that into there and plug that USB into your comp laptop or PC. And once you do that, minimize your thing, go to your computer settings. Now if you have my computer just like this, you can easily just go to the computer settings and just ask Cortana or, or just type in below the thing. I'm just going to type it in. See you like that. And then your settings will pop up. Now what you want to do in settings is search control panel. Let's see, control panel. The first one that pops up, control panel. Click that. Now this will pop up. Click that one that says hardware and sound. Now you'll see th this will pop up. Now see, go to the one that says sound. Go to the right of it and click manage audio devices. And this will pop up. Now, you should be in the playback thing, it'll automatically put you in. Put your speakers as the Yeti speaker microphone. Put that as that. Make sure it's the automatic one that it's always on. And then for your recording tabs, which is that, it should be as your the microphone, the Yeti stereo microphone. Just like that. That's what you want to do. It might already be like that. Some Sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. For your beginning. And then go to your, back to your Elgato screen. And you'll see it has your computer mic. Change it. To the Yeti mic. And now watch. You now have. And then. If you stand it back up. Now, you should turn your commentary on right there. And look, the sound bar. <laughs> hey! 
and, and stuff is really good mic and it'll hear you perfectly sound out other things and yeah you can mute button there's all these buttons on here let me just show you what these buttons do okay on your yay mic you'll see there's a mute button you if you press it guess what it will do it will mute the mic It'll start flashing. That means it's muted. And see, look. It's not hearing me anymore. And if I unmute it, it'll start hearing me again. Just like that. And then this right here. No! Mine's not very tight. Let me tighten it more. Oh, no wonder it kept on falling. Well, tie make sure you tighten both sides. Mine I only had one side tightened. If you see right here, there's a volume button. You can turn that up and down. And on the back, you have this, the pattern, and in the box, there's all different patterns. If you're doing like just you talking and you're playing like a game or something, it's best to put it on that one that looks like a Pac-Man. That mine is set to right now. And then, actually below your Yeti thing, if you turn it over, next to the USB on the other side, you'll see there is a headphone jack. This is optional. You don't have to do this. You can connect a headphones into there. And be able to hear what you are saying so you know exactly what you're saying and what it sounds like. And you just have to plug in. And you don't have to do anything special for that. And yeah. And that's all, really. And you can record perfect videos. Oh, and also, since we have a lot of time, see, look. Also, the video editor thing, Sony Vegas, oh dang, Sony, the frick, start, I like that frick is hot button name. I... Okay, you can we download Sony. Wait, don't don't buy this Sony Vegas Pro 14. Point no. You can download this for free, but it usually costs money. But I'm gonna show you a way how to download it for free. Now, to download it for free, what you gotta do, I'm pretty sure, well, I'm just gonna, you will see one second, and I'll show you what the thing is. Now this is really easy to do. Get this for free. And it works for everything. What you want to do. Let's go to that. Link right there. Crow has a dot com 
slash Sony Vegas Pro dash 14 dash free dash download. And it'll take you to this page right here. What you want to do here is scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this download and alternative download. Click the download the red button. Just download it up. It will work perfectly fine. And then download it to your thing. And then once you download that, go down to your download. I am not to your download. Go to this. To your folder. Open it. And then downloads. You'll see this, Sony Vegas Pro 14. Right click it, you'll see WinZip. Go over WinZip, and then go to Extract to here. Press that, it'll extract it, but I already have, I've already done that. Extract that, and then what you'll see is, when you extract that, you'll have it all extracted, and it'll do this thing. Do the ones that just do, don't buy it, just do the evaluated version. And sometimes, if for different computers, it might say, just if it will say extract to, it'll say different item. Then press the one that says so, extract to Sony Vegas Pro 14. And then click on Sony Vegas Pro 14. Oh, frick. And then you can go to... I'm pretty sure... Press the one that's... You'll, you can go to back to your downloads, and at the top you'll see one that says Sony Vegas Pro 14, a newer one, a folder. Click on that, and you'll see that. Right there, that little thing. It's a Sony Vegas Pro. Click on that. Click it. We'll double click it. And then we'll see these two things are in here. What you want to do is click the bottom one that says Sony Vegas Pro 14 point the other numbers. Click on that. It will bring you to the install thing. Install it all up. Make sure you do the the give, the give me the easy thing and put the one on my desktop. You can put that that so it'll be on your desktop page. And after you install, right when you finish installing, installing it, run. The Sony Vegas Pro 14 patch. It will be. See, watch if I do. It will be in. Russian, so don't worry about it. So I shall show you. Let me, let me show you it real quick. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. More choices. Okay. So. Wait, wait, everyone. I'm just showing you guys what it looks like. I just have to enter a passcode because. Stupid thing, but it was, and it will look like this. 
will be in a rush and don't worry about that. Click the left button. If anything pops up that says this and this, but it's in Russian, click the one that says cancel. I mean, not cancel, plus the one that says ignore, ignore it, and just let it keep on going. It'll, and then if you click on the Sony Vegas Pro, if you, and then once you do that and you work the patch, exit out of it all. And then go down and you can use it and it will work perfectly just as regular Sony Vegas Pro but you just got it for free and it will just turn on just like that isn't that freaking awesome guys so yeah so I'll get the Sony Vegas Pro for free there you go. Bye.